kids once again your english teacher is with you before we start our today's topic let me show you a small video clip hi flag are you ready for your holiday trip zizi oh yes i am really excited flag i have even made a list of things i have to remember to pack oh that's a long list hey can i help you pack zizi Thank you, Fleck. There. Now I just have to pack a few more things, and I will be ready. Oh, I have only an hour left to pack. I'd better hurry up. An hour. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to pack the red hat that my aunt gave me on my birthday. Isn't it pretty, Fleck? Hey. Huh? You forgot to pack this Zizi? Oh yes, that's my favorite book. I better pack it right away. Thank you, Fleck. Yes, you have seen that Zizi is going for a holiday trip. Let's see what she has packed for the trip. She has packed a comb, a toothbrush, an umbrella, an alarm clock. a ball and also zizi was saying that zizi has to pack the red hat that her aunt had aunt gave her zizi also packed the book that flag gave her so kids if you have noticed that in this slide there are some words with which i have used a before the nouns and with some words i have used and before the noun and in some words i have used the before the noun so all these words a and the the topic which we are going to start today is related to that that is articles so today we are going to learn about articles so what are articles articles are the words that we use before nouns kids we have two type of articles that is definite articles and indefinite articles indefinite articles definite articles indefinite articles are a and an which we use for journal things right and second is definite articles which we use for specific things that is the so let's learn about definite and indefinite articles so what are indefinite articles these are the articles that do not refer to a particular person place animal or thing that means the words a and a and and they are indefinite we don't use them before any particular person place or animals we use it with journal things journal person place animal or thing things second is articles which points out some particular person place animal or thing the article which points out any particular person place animal or thing they are definite articles that is the first of all we'll learn about article a so before i start article a i must tell you that in english alphabets we have 26 letters from a to z right and out of that 21 are consonant sounds and 5 are vowel sounds right so we'll on basis of these consonant and vowels we put the articles before the words so if we'll discuss article a a is an article which comes before any singular noun which comes before any singular noun that begins with consonant sound it means if any singular noun which will begin with these consonant sounds it means we have to put a before those words like it should be countable also 
like some examples let's take some example a book if you see book is a singular noun and it starts with a consonant b so we will put article a before that another example a car so with car starts with the consonant c and we will put article a before that another example tree tree begins with the consonant sound t and we will put article a before that similarly we will put article a with any words that will begin with consonant sounds all these consonant sound if any of the word will begin with all these consonant sound it means you have to put the article a right i am most focusing on the consonant sounds remember that let's go for another one now we will discuss article an so article an is used before the words that starts with vowel sound that starts with vowel sound remember that i am focusing on the word sound and we have five vowels a e i o u don't go for the letters just focus on the sounds of these vowels a what's the sound of vowel a it's a what uh, it's a and what's the sound of e it's a i is e and i too and sound of o is a sound of u is a so we'll focus on the sound so an is used before again like a it is also used with the singular countable nouns as a is used for the singular countable nouns an is also used for the singular countable nouns let's take uh, some example suppose we have egg so egg starts with the letter e and e is a vowel and what's the sound it is giving what's the beginning sound of this word is a an egg so we'll put an egg next is umbrella so sound of u here is a so we'll put an before the word umbrella because the sound is a another example ice cream so with ice cream also we'll put an as it is a vowel sound another word is apple so with apple it starts with a so we'll put the word put the article an before the word apple similarly like elephant we can write an elephant like owl for owl we have to write an owl it's a sound orange for orange we'll also write an orange so there are some exceptional cases also like there are some words which starts with the consonant sound but they have vowel sound this starts with the consonant but their sounds begin with the vowel sound suppose we have the word h o u r how we pronounce that word it is our although h is there but h is silent here but we don't say hour we say our so sounds begin with o sounds begin with a so we'll put an hour another word there is a spelling h o n e s t it is honest it is not honest so we its sounds begin with a honest man so we'll write an honest man so we'll go for the sound of the letter not the consonant word which is at the beginning another exceptional case is there there are some words which starts with the vowel sound but they sounds like a consonant right there are some words which starts with vowel but they have consonant sound right let's take some example like a useful thing if you heard that useful thing although the u is as i say u is a vowel letter but it is not a it is not giving the sound of that letter hai na it is giving the sound u it is giving the sound u not a so we will consider the sound of consonant here so we will place article a before that not an similarly unicorn again the sound of u is u hai na 
it is it is not giving the sound a uh. so we'll place a before the unicorn so we write a unicorn not an unicorn because it is not giving the sound a uh, right another word is a 1 rupee coin so one it is beginning with the letter o but it is not giving the sound of a uh. we don't say on one on rupee coin we say 1 rupee coin it's give the sound w it gives the sound w so we'll start it with a we we'll start with the article a we'll put a article before that one more word is there university again the sound u is coming there so we'll put the article a now we'll go for another article that is the the is the article which is used for definite person or the thing any definite person or thing about whom we are talking about like the boy the book right or you can say the is also used for special names special names it special name could be of anything right it could be of any monument a monument means any historical building right any river special name hai na oceans name of any ocean seas mountain rivers or mountain ranges holy books trains with any superlative degrees that we will discuss later on and newspapers so if any special name is there with that also we use the article the some examples like the ramayana ramayana is the name of the holy book of the hindus so we'll put the before it right so the ramayana we we'll don't we we'll not say a ramayana and ramayana we'll write the ramayana the times of india it's a name of the newspaper so we'll write the before that so all these in all these example i have mentioned the special names of newspaper or book or any uh, monument or any train hai na so in that we'll use the article the we also use the with unique things with the name of unique things there are so many unique things like sun moon right all the heavenly bodies directions and these can't be changed the name of these things cannot be changed they are universal truth so they are unique things so with that also we write the like we say the sun we say the moon the stars the sky the clouds right so with that uh, you can say the national bird the national flag so they are unique things with that we put the article the another is we use the when we mention about something about which we have already talked right we also use the article the with those things which about which we have already discussed about which we have already mentioned right for that also we use article the let's understand through an example suppose we have a sentence here he has a parrot in first sentence in the first part of the sentence i said he has a parrot right a parrot remember and secondly i wrote the parrot can sing bhajans here firstly i put article a with the parrot in second part of the sentence i put the article the so why i put article the because i'm talking about the same parrot about which i have already mentioned in the first part of the sentence right so i'm repeatedly i'm mentioning about the same parrot which i have mentioned the first part so we will put the for that so did you understand if we have mentioned something before and again we are talking about the same thing then we have to use the article the let's take one more example i saw a dog so firstly i put a dog then after i mentioned about the same dog again in the same sentence the dog was limping right so it means i am talking about the same dog which i have already said so it means i have to put the dog in the second part of the sentence so in that we also we use article the so kids we have discussed the topic articles and we have discussed three articles a and the a and an are indefinite articles which we use for general things and the is the definite article which we use for specific things special names particular names right 
So that's all for the day. I hope you like the video. Thank you.